सी एफ लेवल वन एंड सी एफ लेवल टू नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर कैंडिडेट्स इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू डिफर योर एग्जाम फॉर एनी रीजन देन ह्योर आर ऑल द डिटेल्स दैट यू नीड टू नो Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. Today's video is specially for my CFA level one and CFA level two November twenty twenty four candidates and for the people who want to defer their exam. So basically, I'm going to be sharing with you all the details about the CFA November twenty twenty four deferral process. So let's get straight to it. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please take one second to hit the subscribe button. If you've ever liked my work even a teeny tiny bit, then please join the community by subscribing to it. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I post a new video. If you're already a part of this channel, then thank you so much for joining me in my journey. I hope we stay together till the end of time. So, uh, CFA Level One and Level Two, November 2024 candidates. First things first. The biggest question that all of you have had since so many days: When are the deferral forms gonna begin? So they are gonna begin from first of November and they will go on till the twenty sixth of November. This is both for CFA Level One and CFA Level Two. All details are cumulative for both. There is no difference. So once again, the forms will open on first of November and they will go on till the twenty sixth of November. This includes both paid and emergency deferral forms. Now, for the people who want to get the paid deferral, honestly, there is nothing much you need to do. The cost is three hundred ninety nine US dollars plus eighteen percent GST. Ah, uh, just pay for that amount. Just fill the form, pay that amount, and automatically your November twenty twenty four attempt will get cancelled. It becomes null and void, and then you will get the chance to re-register free of cost because you've already paid that three ninety nine dollars. So that's the only cost you need to pay. After that, you will get a chance to re-register for any of the available windows, which I'll talk about in the next segment of this video. Okay, so that's it. The only few things you need to keep in mind is your decision is non-binding. That is, once you pay for the deferral, you cannot say that oh, okay, I'm ready. I'll go give the exam. You can't. Uh, also, if you've ever purchased a deferral before in this particular attempt, so for example, you're giving CFA level one uh, for the first time or the second time, whatever it is, in this particular attempt of yours, if you have purchased a deferral before, you are not eligible for any paid or emergency deferral in this attempt. And you can only purchase the deferral once. That is, if you purchase the deferral in this November uh, cycle, and suppose you choose that I want to give my exam in May 2025. Come May, you feel yeah, I'm not ready. You will not be allowed to defer the exam again. You will have to re-register at the full cost. Deferral happens only once in every attempt. Okay. All you need to do is log into your CFA Institute ID, fill the deferral form, and then on your mail you will be given the cancellation voucher. Literally, that's it. Zada koi rocket science nahi hai. Coming to the people who want to uh, avail the emergency deferral form. Now, emergency deferral is a very tricky scenario. Initially, uh, people used to really take advantage of this, and obviously the CFA Institute is not dumb. They have found out that you know people try to put false claims that oh I'm sick, oh I'm dying. Very sorry to say, but people go to those lengths, so they had to be a little bit strict. And now there is documentation verification. Basically, if you are availing an emergency deferral, you have to have proof. You have to give proof to the institute that you actually have an emergency. First of all, let us classify what an emergency is: life-threatening illness to you or any immediate family. Immediate family में कौन आता ये भी सुनो? Parents, sibling, partner, spouse, and child. Grandparents are not counted in this. it should be a life threatening illness okay let's get that uh number 2 if you become pregnant if you're a lady and you get pregnant obviously you can defer it if the institute or the you know pro metric centers decide to change your exam date 30 days before your exam so suppose your exam is on november 14th before or uh, after october 14 they told you ki yaar we have to change your date due to some unforeseen circumstances in that case you can uh, purchase an emergency deferral because that date may not suit you uh you need to change your location because of some situation you as a candidate not uh, family members you as a candidate need to due to some political reason change your location so these are the categories of an emergency deferral and like i said you need to need to need to need to need to submit documentation proof and the glitch or the hitch with the emergency deferral is that they can take up to 7 weeks to verify these documents so what happens is the institute clearly says that if uh, your emergency deferral is denied or for whatever reason your you, it's true but they don't find the documentation enough and they may have to deny it you can purchase a, a paid deferral provided 
that they have checked your emergency defil and given it back to you before 26 november if suppose you have applied for the emergency defil on say 5th november and they do not get back with their verification till say 27th november that means you will not have the chance to go back to the paid uh, defil in case they deny your verification that's why you need to be very 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 careful with your emergency defil process in fact the institute also clearly says do not risk it only if you are sure that you have an emergency and you are pretty confident that it will be approved because aapko obviously pata aapke paas emergency hai and you have you know legal honest documents to prove it then only apply for it otherwise don't and also a lot of people who plan to give false documentation fake medical certificates fake medical reports please be well because the institute has caught many and they have clearly said that you know they will hold you back in disciplinary actions like ethical rules basically aap sabko ethics pata hi hai and you know how much the cfa institute loves ethics so i would also suggest like the institute pange mat lo agar really emergency hai to hi emergency defil ke liye apply karo else just go for the paid defil if you really can't then sit for the exam you do not want to lose out on itne time ki mehnat because you decided to play with the cfa institute or try to lie let's not get into that now another very much asked question is when can we defer our exam to what are the next available windows good news for all of you that yes feb 2025 is on the list you can defer your exam to feb 2025 but 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 you only have till november 7th to do that post november 7th november 8th or november 9th okay you cannot register for the feb 2025 exam this is also counted if you suppose defer your exam before november 7th but you do not register for the feb 2025 exam to be you will lose out on feb 2025 if you want feb 2025 you need to defer your exam before november 7th as well as register for the feb exam before november 7th because november 7 2024 feb 2025 ke registrations band ho jayenge so feb 2025 is on the list but you have literally only 7 days to get your ex- current exam cancelled and apply for the new one and then you have for level 1 may august and november 2025 these are the available dates for level 2 you do not have feb obviously so the next attempt that you can give is straight away may 2025 August 2025 and November 2025. So that's your only available options. Now again, here people who want to purchase or avail the emergency defil need to be careful, right? Your chances of getting Feb is almost just less than one percent. If I actually put it out in numbers, because the institute will take time to verify your documents. If you are very lucky, so yeah, these three four days, I will give you. So that means you apply for your emergency defil on November one itself. In the next two three days, they will verify it. If you are lucky, that like I said, it's a less than one percent chance that they will be able to give you a Feb defil. Otherwise, they will not. So you need to be very careful. 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 So you change to even a may 2025 then getting an emergency defil can be a problem so please keep that in mind it is very 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 important with that i've pretty much come to the end of all the details before i stop this video i just want to you know put a point out i tell all the students who want to defer it's there in all my defil videos but i'm just going to add it again be aware why you are deferring it don't defer the exam just because you're feeling anxious understand the difference between reality and just feelings because you will never feel prepared even in the next attempt even in the following attempt you will not feel prepared so are you just feeling anxious ki all sub subjects saath mein yaad nahi ho rahe um i'm just not able to retain it is it that or is it that you really haven't studied you haven't given time and you don't have time left to give that's why you need to defer it so just keep that in mind like i said emergency situations are a different thing i'm not commenting on that because emergency is an emergency um sometimes commitments also come in the way but in case you're deferring your exam because of anxiety or because you feel like you're not prepared rethink it sit with yourself for 10 minutes analyze are you just feeling not prepared or did you really not prepare because that feeling of not prepared is never gonna go that's a guarantee bas yahi kehna tha And with that, I'm ending this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Until then, keep sparkling and definitely keep learning.